Hey everybody, welcome to the Weather Nerds YouTube page. I'm meteorologist Greg Majeski here to give you an update on your climate outlook. Kind of kind of get you prepared for the next 6 to 14 days. And we're going to kick off first with the 6 to 10 day outlook. As you can notice across the eastern third of the United States, we are definitely looking at some cooler temperatures that will be moving in this weekend. Sticking around for a few days as you can see in the below normal temperatures here across the eastern third of the United States. Also uh, noticing temperatures uh, kind of below average there in Alaska as well, but a good chunk of the country looking at above normal temperatures. And as we progress through days 8 through 14th, that's the 11th through the 17th, you notice most of the country on the warm side. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to show you there here in the model data uh, or the reason why we're expecting a lot of the country to be on the warm side. Let's take a look at the precipitation outlook the next 6, six, six to 10 days out there. I'll get my mouth to work for you. As you can notice, uh, the Pacific Northwest looking at above average precipitation. And then we're going to be watching quietly the Gulf Coast, uh, seeing if we're going to get uh, potential for some uh, area of low pressure developed down at the Gulf of Mexico, whether it's going to be a tropical depression, low pressure, or maybe even a tropical storm. We're going to watch it closely because the climate outlook is showing uh, enhanced area of precipitation with above normal uh, conditions there across South Georgia, Southern Alabama, Louisiana, and much of Florida uh, as we go through uh, again, October 11th to the 17th. So something to watch there to see if we get something tropical to develop. Now, as we take a quick look at your model data, we're going way up, about 18,000 feet. And kind of look at what the jet stream is doing. That jet stream is that river air that kind of drives uh, weather systems across the country. And I'll tell you right now, this is uh, uh, looking at it the way it's currently configured. you got a pretty ampli amplified uh, pattern going on. Uh, right now as I go ahead and draw in here so you can kind of see everything you got the jet stream kind of flowing right through here Look at it got a high pressure ridge got a dip here across the east and then ridging again and then kind of going to swing it on through the Atlantic So a very progressive pattern that uh, that we're seeing are currently across the US, but uh, What's one jet stream? I think may split into two you know, uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this as I step on through here. As you're going to see, this one big deepening of the jet stream. You're seeing it across the eastern third. That's going to make for some cool temperatures for the weekend. And then that low is going to kind of get, get spun up there. And as we go through time, a, a little piece of the energy will continue to rotate across the east. But again, it kind of splits off. So when I say splits off, you'll see what I'm talking about here. As I draw you through here, this is going out to the end of the month as we're going to see uh, this jet stream that's going to come to here. You see the main jet looks like it's way up here. And then we kind of got a smaller jet or weaker one going right through here. So the main cold air is going to be locked up up here. This is the cold right up here into Canada. And so just a little, there's a, a cutoff low right here that'll bring some cooler temperatures there. But the bulk of the country is going to be seeing a Pacific air mass later in the forecast period. It's going out to that second half of days 11 through 17 and even beyond uh, if this pattern, if this model is to hold be true. Now, another thing that I'm looking at, and that's why I question this just a, just a little bit on the long range, is the North Atlantic Oscillation. And it's uh, basically the way the jet stream flows. And when it positions itself in a negative configuration, the eastern half of the United States is colder, the west is warmer. When it's in a positive, the west is cold and the east is warm. And the one thing you notice on here, as I've got drawn out, that you see that straight line that I've got right there, it is showing uh, the models, and these are all these little red squiggly lines, all these little red squiggly lines in there are your different model data. And the average is sitting right through here in a negative configuration, but some even go even more negative. So if it's negative like that, what that's going to mean is you're going to see a more active weather pattern across the United States. So. Uh, it stays mostly negative going out to the middle of the month. So we're going to stay kind of active at least here for the next seven to ten days. And then what it does beyond that, we'll see if we'll see how it works out. If the jet stream flattens out, uh, we'll kind of return to more uh, kind of a quieter pattern for the second half of the month of October. So we got a few days to watch that, and we'll update this again for you. I'm doing this at least twice a week to give you an update here on the climate outlook. Until then, you guys take it easy. Check back on my YouTube plays, page and do me a favor. Please subscribe to this page. I am a brand new YouTuber. I am trying to get those followers up, and I hear the magic numbers to get to 1,000. So we're going to try to get to 1,000. You guys take it easy. We'll see you here on the next uh, update on the Weather Nerds page. See you, nerds. Bye.